so far we were discussing about the neuroendocrine system in insects now we are moving to the neuroendocrine system of crustaceans in case of the crustaceans the neuroendocrine system is important as they are regulating mainly the visceral activities in addition to other physiological functions here the visceral activity means the functioning of the visceral organs we know that in our viscera different organs are present just like liver heart etc so the viscera visceral activities means the functioning of the visceral organs in case of the decapod crustaceans what is meant by decapod crustaceans the crustaceans having 10 leg so neurosecretory cells are found in mainly these regions that means the different parts of the brain ganglia of the ventral nerve cord optic stalk of the optic ganglia ganglia of the ventral nerve cord we know that in case of the invertebrata the nerve cord will be on its ventral side in our case we know that uh, our nerve cord is on the dorsal side optic stalk means we can see that in these organisms the eye will be present uh, in a stalk that is emerging from the head region so that is what mean by the optic stalk and the ganglia is found at the base of the optic stalk so these are the three regions three main regions where we can find the neuroendocrine organs in crustaceans let us see major neuroendocrine organs we can see that the sinus gland is there at the base of the optic stalk y organ is there in the head region x organ will be present scattered in the optic stalk near the eye and we will be having cerebral ganglion post commissural organ commissure means it is the nerves that is connecting the ganglia different ganglia and uh, the last one is a pericardial organ so this one is the heart and surrounding the heart associated with the nerves surrounding the heart we can find a uh, small patches of structures neuroendocrine structures that is what mean by the pericardial organ so first of all the sinus gland as we already discussed uh, it is present at the base of the optic stalk so they are neurohemal organ located in the optic stalk neurohemal organ we already discussed uh, it is a specialized structure which is stores the neural secretion and releases into the blood stream or the hemolymph whenever it is required that is what mean by the neurohemal organ so it is present in the optic stalk sinus gland is present in the optic stalk and functionally we can see that it is almost analogous to the posterior pituitary gland of us because we know that posterior pituitary gland in our body the head region it is actually storing the secretion from the hypothalamus and it will be releasing whenever it is required so the sinus gland of the crustacea is analogous to the posterior pituitary gland of the vertebrates or mainly the human beings so these hormones are very significant in regulation of color changes in addition to other functions so chromogenic regulation is the main function of the sinus gland so second gland is the x organ as we already shown it x organ is also present in the eye stalk so we can see that x organ will be scattered in the eye stalk so they are collection of neurosecretory cells located at different regions of the optic stalk so you can see it scattered and we can see that there are mainly two types of x organs first one is a ganglionic x organ and second one is a pars distalis x organ or the sensory pore x organ in some cases some crustaceans this particular two part will be fusing together and it will form a single complex structure so depending upon the species these two will be either separated 
or it will be fused in the form of a complex structure the main functions of the hormone secreted by the x organ are it will be inhibiting and regulating molting by inhibiting the activity of the egg dyson egg dyson is the hormone that is secreted by the y organ second function is regulate color change as we already discussed in the sinus gland this hormone also is concerned with the color changes chromogenic regulation third function is regulate the movement of retinal pigment and fourth one inhibit the activity of y organ we already learned from the first function that uh, the x organ hormone will be inhibiting molting by inhibiting egg dyson the egg dyson is secreted by the y organ so it is actually inhibiting the activity of the y organ so these are the four main functions of the hormone secreted by the x organ now the next uh, neuroendocrine organ is the y organ we already seen that particular y organ which is located in the brain the head region so they are a pair of endocrine glands located in the antennary or maxillary segments of some crustaceans and this y organ will be producing egg dyson when we discussed the function of x organ hormones we already seen that egg dyson because x, x organ hormones will be inhibiting this particular or egg dyson hormone so egg dyson function is to initiate molting but there is a condition it will be initiating molting only when the x organ hormone is absent so the egg dyson activity is under the control of x organ so in the absence of x organ hormone egg dyson promote molting next one is a post commissural organ as we already know com post commissural means the commissure is the one which is connecting the two ganglia so post after the commissure that is what mean the post commissural organ you can see the one hanging down so that particular structure there are the neurosecretory complex behind the esophagus that means above the heart region that functions as neurohemal organ and regulate color change so you can see that most cases almost all neuroendocrine hormones are concerned with uh, the chromogenic regulation or the regulation of the color changes that you have to keep it in mind the last neuroendocrine organ in crustacean is a pericardial organ as we already know so this is a pericardial organ it will be surrounding the heart that's why pericardial we know that pericardium is a membrane that is surrounding the heart so pericardial organ means the neuroendocrine organ that is on either side of the heart so on either side of the heart you can see the nerve cords the commissures and uh, on this commissure or the nerve cord you can find the neuroendocrine organ and that is known as the pericardial organ so there are endocrine structures lying stretched across the pericardium we know that pericardium is a membrane which is covering the heart in case of the insects or crustaceans it will be having tubular heart so they contain neurosecretory cells and axon terminal of the neurosecretory cells will be in the ventral ganglion in previous insects case also we have learned uh, most of the cases axon will be terminating in the ganglionic part or the glial part etc here also you can see that uh, pericardial neurosecretory cells ax axon will be reaching the ventral ganglion the main function of the pericardial organ hormone is it increases the rate and force of heartbeat that means it is concerned with the blood supply to different parts of the organism so that's about the uh, crustaceans i'm just recalling mainly there are five different types of neuroendocrine organs in crustacea sinus or gland and then x organ y organ post commissural organ pericardial organ so i'm repeating sinus gland 
at the base of optic stock x organ scattered within the optic stock y organ in the maxillary region maxillary segment then post commissural organ which is after the commissure you can see this particular thing and the pericardial organ surrounding the pericardium structure around the pericardium so that's about the neuroendocrine gland in crustacea thank you